up xlp family thank you for joining today so there is a lot of things happening the crash the green swan event coming a lot of things happening at the same time now guys before we head into this video i want you to know something and i will give you a major tip on how you can actually prevent yourself from selling any xlp or any cryptocurrency if you believe in it if you invested in this cryptocurrency with with utility and with the the um actually the idea of having some kind of utility that you believe in so it doesn't have to be xrp but xrp is one of the best with utility out there so let's get this clear if you are if you are looking at your portfolio and prices are dropping and you're looking at the price you will feel this this emotions and you will panic and this may lead to panic selling or you know not believing in the crypto anymore or not believing in the utility anymore so a major tip that i can give you guys don't look at your portfolio don't look at the amount of money that is in it just look at the amount of xrp you're owning or know the amount that you're owning and that's it don't go look in your numbers of dollars because you will be freaked out and that's exactly what they want you to do they want you to look at the numbers they want you to look for example if you have 200 300 000 in your portfolio and it dropped by 30 percent or 40 percent it is very significant so you will feel these emotions even if you don't want to you will feel it but if you just don't look at the amount if you just believe what you own you will never panic and you will just not hesitate you will even buy more when the prices are going down now this is something that you have to understand because we're doing this for the long term and not for a short term um quick buck and and fast uh, money so this is not the idea of investing in xrp in general this is not any financial advice and you should not do anything because of what i say i am just making youtube videos for entertainment purposes only now let's take a look at what's happening in the xrp community and let's take a look at what ripple is doing as a company now here we have the first page xrp community remember we have green swan event from bis in the first week of june my be flitch of this flip of the switch moment can take place overnight now this is something that is possible it doesn't have to be this way but it's something that's very 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 possible because remember it might take place in a switch of a moment so maybe you think that it's not possible because of market capitalization and stuff like that but guys i'm telling you xrp is way bigger than that it's it's a different beast that you're talking about here and i want you to understand that because it can really happen overnight we don't know the agenda of these elite people but it will definitely happen so this is a major event that can actually trigger this overnight switch 3 and 4 june we have a green swan event now guys if we think about what's happening all oh, what's happening right now the prices went down there was a crash people sold people panicked maybe it will be even worse maybe it's not even over guys but that's why you have to understand that whatever happens don't sell your xrp guys don't do that because we are very near and that's what i want you to know the global shift to explore cbdc's now they are pushing ripple is really pushing these articles on a crazy number out there because they just want you to know that this is the future this is the rise of cbdc's it's actually happening right now now let's take a look at what they're saying china has started trials of ihuan currency with a proposed launch date of february 2022 European officials want to launch a digital euro by 2025. Guys, this is a, these are facts. This is not speculation anymore. The digital euro will be launched in four or five years. It's going to happen. And you have to actually know that XRP is going to play a major role in all of this. The Bahamas has put its own version, the sand dollar, into circulation. The United States announced it's, it is exploring a US digital dollar, a tokenized version of the dollar we know. This form of private uh, cryptocurrencies is playing a critical role in the new global financial infrastructure, 
that blockchain technologies underpin. Some of the key benefits of CBDCs enhance existing payment system. Now remember, XRP will not replace these fiat currencies. This is not going to happen. It's going to enhance the, the, the use case of all of these fiat currencies by bringing them into a digital world. It's actually opening the gate for them. For example, by using the XRPL. By increasing the speed and efficiency of payments while reducing costs and failure rates. Promote financial inclusion to increase access to financial services for under and unbanked populations. Encourage greater competition by reducing barriers to entry and boosting access to global markets through interoperability. Foster innovation with advanced digital futures like smart contracts and programmable money. Maintain control by ensuring central banks retain sovereignty over monetary policy and not allow alternative currency to dominate the market. Now, in the end, this is all about control. It's not entirely a good thing, but if you invest in the, in the technology right now, you have nothing to worry about. Interoperability, the key to success. By 2024, at least half of the world's population is expected to use digital wallets for transactions that will be valued at more than 9 trillion annually. Now, we talked about market cap. Now, let's, let's take a look at 9 trillion annually. That's a lot. And imagine that XRP is bridging all of this money. Now, you can talk what you want about market cap, but that doesn't matter anymore with XRP. With this in mind, every CBDC will need to have some level of interoperability built in. Interoperability is the ability to share and access information across multiple networks without the need for an intermediary, thus reducing costs and saving time for parties involved. Guys, you are witnessing the change of a financial system. It is not something small and we have to understand because the ripple impact. In March 2021, we announced our CBDC solution that can provide central banks a secure, controlled and flexible means of issuing and managing, managing digital currencies. The CBDC private ledger is based on the same blockchain technology that powers the XRP ledger. Now you guys know what this means. And we know that the Egyptian, the largest Egyptian bank is now using RippleNet. Many will follow. Many will follow guys. FDEC, Fed, OCC plan joint views on regulating cryptocurrency. Now, I think that the crash happened because of what's happening in China. They blocked all, they actually blocked all the companies from, from doing anything with cryptocurrencies. Now, this is something very dangerous, but of course they cannot block everything because the mining in general is happening in China. It's a very difficult time for cryptocurrency at the moment because there is regulation, guys. He continued prior to this meeting, Chair Williams and I had talked about many potential, potentially putting together an inter intergency policy sprint team just on crypto because of exactly the concerns you've described. All three regulators participated in the house hearing. They are moving very fast and they are making rules for cryptocurrency. Now, a lot of cryptocurrencies will maybe perish because of this. Let's see what happens. Ripple Judge allows SEC to continue bully tactic via Mo request. So SEC can continue to ask outside of the USA to Ripple partners what Ripple has been doing with the XRP. So this is something very bad for Ripple, but in the end, Ripple is has won many things and they are doing very good at the moment. Tomorrow is a very big day, guys. 21st of May, we will know what will happen and we will maybe get something of a settlement, something more than what we have now. So be ready because things are starting to shape up. This is a tweet by Mr. Poole. This is amazing. He tweeted this and then this happened. The world's largest iceberg has called from Antarctica over the past few days, a giant floating piece of ice close to 80 times the size of Manhattan. So guys, we have to understand that this is all climate control stuff and they want to use green stuff so you know that the green swan event is just bigger than it just may seem global cryptocurrency google searches reach a new all-time high that means that people are really starting to get into cryptocurrency 
Now it is still not a lot. There is still not a lot of people know about cryptocurrencies. It's still the beginning. But you can see that the Google searches are through the roof. You can see that. That means that this space is really going to blow up, guys. And this is just the beginning. This market crash is nothing. It's just a small correction. Actually, if you look at the bigger picture of what cryptocurrency can do. Where is this demand coming from? As the first graph demonstrates, the previous massive surge of Google searches came in 2017-18. As such, it would be safe to assume what's primary driving force behind the growing interest and somewhat unsurprisingly, it has a lot to do with prices. Back in late 2017 and early 2018, Bitcoin and the rest of the market were going through an impressive bull run. The primary cryptocurrency charted an all-time high of 20,000. ETH was over $1,400 and so on. Now we know that this time is different. Financial institutions are coming in the picture. And that's why it is very different this time. That doesn't mean that, that there is not a crash going to come or any correction or whatsoever. Just notice this now. Illuminati or Diamond Hands. This is something else Mr. Poole tweeted. And then what Elon Musk tweeted is related to it because he said Diamond Hands. Now let's take a look at this video. Very putting interesting. On, He's Elon talking Musk about is an Elon Musk actually. putting people on Mars, putting cargo into space, perhaps converting us from... Con from internal combustion engines to electric engines. This is important work that is tremendously lucrative. The automobile market is now at $800 billion market on the backs of Tesla's ascent. And the, the question I'd be asking the board is, is this really a worthwhile distraction from your good work and our responsibility as fiduciaries to look out for Tesla and SpaceX shareholders? To me, this is really, I mean, it says a lot of things, but it says how weak the corporate governance is at Tesla, who doesn't have a board member who can reach out to the CEO and say, Simply put, what are you doing? So th this, has, this is a weakness, an example of a weakness in governance, and how one individual is now more powerful, maybe even than uh, the Chinese government. It's going to be, I think in the next 30, 30 days, we're going to see some sort of statement or clarification or action. Elon Musk, this is an individual. So also, he's saying within the next 30 days, we're going to see some kind of clarification or action, and it has to do with regular, regulatory. So he's talking about Elon Musk, that one person has so many influence, so much influence about a, a market, which is very dangerous for the people that are investing in this market. But still, they cannot blame Elon Musk. There is more things. There is a regulatory framework, which they do not have. And this is actually the most um, thing that they should be focused on, guys. And it will come soon. Soon things will happen. So be ready and Take my tip, guys. Like, don't panic sell. Just watch at your look at your uh, crypto amount and don't look at your dollar amount of investing because then you will panic. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.